bishop, enemy of communion on the tongue, resigned. For this reason, he closed seminar in Argentina. The leader of the Catholic Church, in an official statement from the Holy See, accepted on February 5th the resignation of the Bishop of San Rafael, Argentina, Monsignor Eduardo Maria Tausi, after a year and a half of the controversial decision that led to the closure of the Diocese and Seminary Holy Mary, Mother of God. In an interview published by the Diocese and Weekly, the Buena Fe, the spokesman for the bishopric of San Rafael, Father Jose Antonio Alvarez, indicated that it is public knowledge that the diocese has suffered a very important crisis, which even led to the closure of the local seminary. The bishopric of San Rafael has experienced a time of strong tension with an important group of faithful and priests in June 2020 announcing the restart of public worship suspended due to the COVID-19 coronavirus pandemic, Monsignor Tausik determined that communion could only be received standing and in the hand, not directly in the mouth, on the tongue, and on one's knees. In December 2020, the diocesan bishop summoned the priest Camilo Dill to notify him of a sanction, but the religious far from abiding by it, chose to hit his superior in events that occurred on December 22nd. In addition to the annoyance between laity and priest of the Diocese of San Rafael, the disposition of Bishop Tausig would have also caused tensions within the Diocese and Seminary. The Seminary of the Diocese of San Rafael was closed due to an abuse of ecclesiastical authority. It was one of the most successful in Argentina and all of Latin America, with a significant number of vocations. Faithful of the diocese carried out their various acts of protest with calls to pray the rosary in front of the facilities of the bishopric of San Rafael and numerous caravans of cars through the streets of the cities that make up the Argentine diocese. Comments. This is good news for the Catholic people of Argentina and also for the entire Catholic world. Many bishops have abused their authority. Due to the pandemic, they have forced the faithful to receive communion in the hand and standing, as the bishop did who closed the diocese and seminary of San Rafael and caused uncertainty to many priests, of which only a few have continued their preparation for the priesthood in other seminaries. This abuse of Bishop Tausig in his diocese caused him physical blows from a priest, the rejection of his people, and now finally his position. Let us pray to the Lord to give us good priests, bishops, cardinals, and the good Pope. The Church is in crisis. The devil is winning the battle. Communion in the hand and standing, as the bishop forced it, is a profanation of our holy worship. It is a serious offense against God that also hurts the faith of many good Catholics. Let us pray much that the Church seeks holiness and the adoration of Christ, truly present in the Holy Eucharist, not the convenience that clerics have managed to find due to the pandemic by distributing communion in the hand. If you like this video, please give us a like, subscribe to our channel The Work of God, share on social networks, and don't forget to leave your valuable comments. What do you think of bishops? who do not listen to the faithful of their flock and who abuse their authority. God bless you.